So this is going to sound really bizarre, but I give you permission to fail with your cold approaches. Most guys, when they go to go and see a dating coach or someone like myself to help them specifically with the anxiety that you would get from cold approaching, most guys are going to a coach because they are looking for someone to essentially tell them that it is absolutely okay with what you're doing, give them the support that they need, as well as to be there to say it is absolutely okay if things go wrong. Now, my name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And for the last 16 years, I've worked behind the scenes with all of your favorite dating coaches, helping them to grow their dating coach businesses on the YouTube platform. And it's most certainly in some instances as well, I have been able to work with their clients on their anxiety and just ultimately get them better results when they are working with the dating coaches afterwards. And one of the big things that I do see with guys is this initial fear of failure that they think that whether they're going for a coach or working with a coach or they're going to go and do it on their own, that it has to go amazingly well. Like if they fail, it says that they're just bad people and that they'll never amount to anything, yada, 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 all this, all this crazy nonsense stuff. But You know what, go guys, there is nothing wrong with failing. It is absolutely okay to fail. And if anything, what I'd like to kind of do with this video is really just get that point across of why you also need to see that too, that there is nothing wrong with failing and cut yourself some slack when you're going out to practice cold approaching. Be okay to get things wrong. You know, the actual process of getting good at the skill is a trial and error thing. You know, don't expect that the first person that you're going to speak to, the conversation's going to go amazingly well. Your symptoms of anxiety are not going to allow that to uh, to play out. Most guys think that the dating coaches, like for what they see on YouTube, the guys are just constantly getting amazing results and whatnot. And so... I think viewers put them on a pedestal and they kind of see them as like this like godlike immortal who just can't do any wrong. And so if they were to try and copy and paste what that dating coach was doing, then, you know, either one, they're hoping that they do get the exact same results as the dating coach or two, it goes the opposite direction. And if they try and use the lines or whatever of what the coach says and it doesn't work they kind of take it even more to heart and believe oh well it must be me oh I'm I'm a failure oh it's not going to work here and whatnot but what guys don't uh, uh don't really consider and and in, in a way this is why many years ago I'd introduced to the dating coaches the concept of making sure that they had like rejections or show reels of rejections going out to really just show how human they actually were, that even your most good looking, most articulate dating coach you would watch on YouTube approaching women, they too would get rejections as well. But the reality is, is that they won't take it to heart Um, And they also don't see themselves on this pedestal because they know the realization of going out to approach women is a lottery of results when they're speaking to people or the kind of women that they could be potentially meeting. And so they just don't know what they're going to expect. So they don't put that added pressure on themselves or feel negatively about themselves if it turns out that no one was interested in them. You know, women are absolutely allowed to have that prerogative of being attracted to you or not. And just by going out and giving someone a compliment does not mean that you're going to have this like Harry Potter waving a magic wand and casting a spell moment. That's going to mean that these women are now swept off their feet and they're going to be falling absolutely head over heels in love with you. That isn't how attraction works. You'll absolutely get some attraction by stopping women and giving them a compliment, but 
you're not going to be for everyone's taste and that is absolutely okay. So bear in mind that dating coaches that get a lot of rejections and they fail plenty of times too. But what gets them the really good results is that they just don't take it to heart. They don't let it bother them. And even if it does bother them, they have a breather, they walk it off and they remember why they're doing this and they put themselves back out there again. Now, albeit they, you know, they have the opportunity to consider it as well, I'm doing this for work purposes. So actually, you know, I need that I needed that accountability to go forward, carry on. Otherwise, I'm not going to get any business, which, you know, is fair enough. But for your normal everyday guy, bear in mind that failure, getting rejections, getting told no and so on is just a part of life. You experience that everywhere. And if you've got too much of an attachment to that fear of failure or you know you've got too high of an expectation for yourself when you're going out to approach then this needs to be lowered now it's going to be kind of a difficult one really to sort of say like oh well you know you've got to lower your standard to this because every guy is going to be different but instead tweak that mindset and give yourself again that permission to fail even if like the only mindset that you leave the house when you're going to go and cold approach with is like you know what if i don't get any results today that is absolutely okay because if i'm not going to get good results today that doesn't mean i'm not going to get good results from the next person that i speak to or the next day that i go out and sometimes for guys, it does take momentum to actually get any good results. Some guys are quicker than others. And depending on the kind of social upbringing and environment, personality and behaviors that you've got, it could take you that little bit longer. And in fact, one of the I think one of the metaphors that comes to mind is that the early bird catches the worm that sometimes for guys to actually compete with other guys and get just as good as them. So you guys watching this, if you want to get good at dating coaches, then you might have to put in that extra bit of effort, get up that bit earlier, leave the house that bit earlier to give you even more practice time to get really good at speaking to people. But embrace the failure. Be okay to get told no, be okay to get a rejection. It doesn't say anything about you. But what does say something about you is how much you take it to heart. Don't take it to heart. I know that's easier said than done, but you'll you'll come across people who you're just not their type or they just don't want to have a conversation with you or you've just caught them at the wrong possible time. Now, to just essentially prevent myself sounding like a broken record and going over it again and again, just be okay with failure, embrace it, welcome it, and don't be so hard on yourself if someone's not interested in you. Just see it as practice and in fact, play devil's advocate, almost take a step back and look at the situation and go, okay, well, they weren't interested in me or they weren't interested in having a talk what was good out of my approach and what was bad in my approach and what could I potentially do better next time if there's anything applicable there because you could have done absolutely everything right and I've seen this with dating coaches as well and there could have been nothing else that you would have done and just unfortunately the girl has said no so don't take things to heart and again I give you permission to fail it's okay it is absolutely okay. So with that being said, again, my name is Dan, that dating anxiety guy. If you really like this video, hit like. Every like certainly helps my channel to grow and reach even more guys, particularly if you subscribe as well and you want to see more content that is going to help you with cold approaching and also work on your confidence and anxiety and overcoming maybe any traumas or hesitations you've got about putting yourself out there in the world because sometimes dating isn't easy for people and you do need that extra bit of support. 
So whether it can be through my videos or through my coaching, which you can check out my website for, then I really hope that I have the opportunity to help you and that my channel continues to grow to give you the things that you need to hopefully grow too. So if you've got ideas for videos as well, do leave them in the comments below. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video, but remember, I give you permission to fail. There's nothing wrong with failing. Everyone fails, even the dating coaches as well, even me at stuff. No one is free from it. No one escapes it. And I can assure you, if you can embrace that idea, you will be liberated with it too.